Hello and welcome back to my unturned survival guide. In this episode, we are finally going to be building our base. Well, part one at least, because I do believe that it is best to split it in two. And I will explain why in a bit, but let us get right to it and not waste any time. This is where we left off in the last episode. And hold on, what do we have over here? I think we have some cows. Uh, I've done a little bit of work off camera, as you can see. And I mean, looking at our food, we could use a beef, so maybe getting a cow or two isn't the worst idea we have ever had. So let us get close and no, well, too bad. I'm in charge. There we go. Oh, no meat again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to put this back because I would much rather have the floor. Where did the other cow run off to? Are you kidding me? Cow, where did you go? Come on. Wow, okay, did it just, nope, there it is, it's high. <laughs> Let's get it, hopefully we'll get. What? That didn't kill it? Are you kidding me? Get back here. <laughs> okay, this should do it then. Except that I can't aim. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yes, finally, beef. <laughs> I have no idea where that other arrow went, but okay. Uh, that's gonna stay there. Let's head back to camp and let's fry this or cook this beef. So, just gonna turn on the campfire and open up our inventory and go to supplies. Uh, requires cooking one. Don't I have that? Uh, it would appear that I don't, do I? Let's see, cooking one. No, I don't. Well, it's about time then. Let's press Y into the supplies menu and we can actually make cheese, but we don't want cheese. We want cooked beef. There we go. And let's eat that bad boy. I couldn't have made it if I didn't turn the campfire on, by the way. And you know what? Let's, let's eat a granola bar too, because why not? And I think... Thing. Yeah, the candy bar as well. Why not? Free up some inventory space because we are gonna need it. I already have a bunch of wood on me, but it's I I very much doubt that it's gonna be enough. Let me also just check that the where is it? It's somewhere. Uh I believe here, survival useless food and water. That is at max level, so we won't lose that much water and food. Oh, that's my floor. There we go. Uh guess I can take the leather. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it then. So, I have chopped down a bunch of trees, which have grown back up, because they do that in Unturned. So, you can't remove a tree from the map just like that. You chop them down, some time goes, and they grow back up. So, that's cool, I guess. You don't you don't run out of resources. But after much... Uh, that's the helicopter, by the way. After much thinking and planning... We're going to place the base right here, and I'm going to tell you why right now. This area is pretty bumpy, it's pretty hilly, and if I take my flooring, right-click and equip, the green area is where the flooring will be. And as you can see, if we place it right here, I'm even going to place it, you can see, of course, it removes some of the grass, which, uh, did it remove some of the grass over here from my test earlier, or does that grow back too? That grows back too. Okay, so the grass seems to grow back as well, so that's good to know. But as you can see, it clips through here, which is not really what we want. It's not optimal, but as you can see here, it goes down like in the ground dish, which is cool. So if we place it on the top of a hill and then move over, it's never going to clip through because the, um, the height level is going to stay the same. So I kind of want to find the highest spot here, which seems to be right here, I think. And I'm gonna place it right now and see. So, more cows, but maybe we'll get them later. Um, I want a garage, I think, at some point. But right now, let's just focus on the main building as the base. And we can focus on vehicles and whatnot. Maybe in part three, I think. Part three, I think that will be that. So, this is, I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be a three part. <laughs> Alright, so. As you can see here, there's a little bit of bump, but that's all right. So we want, uh, I'm thinking making a two-story 
house. And I'm thinking it's a little bit close to that tree. So maybe gonna move it a little bit over to the right like that. You can pick them right back up, which is really cool. Um, so there we go. Also, what you can do is you can rotate it by holding down. Um, sorry, you can't rotate it. You can click like this with the right, right mouse button and then it moves like that. I do not believe there's a way to directly change the angle of it without moving around. So that is cool. Let me take this and put it back right about here. Right? Yeah. That's gonna be hard. Maybe I could maybe move it a bit over here so that that doesn't happen, but it's right there. So it's right at the height of the mount or at the hill here. But I think if we make another one, this might clip through, but let's find out. Go into Y and let us head over to the furniture uh, structures. And here we have a bunch of stuff. Now a very quick note, um, as you can see, it has a health bar down there. And there are three different wood types. There is birch, maple, and pine, which you can both, or you can craft with all those three uh, materials. You can build with all those three materials, I should say. Um, but each of them has like a different set of health, so like strength. So birch is, I believe, the one that has the lowest strength. Maple is the next best. Pine is the next best. And then you can also build using bricks and metal. So if I had brick and metal, I could make like a metal base or a brick base. And I believe brick is the next, the, the one after pine. And then metal is the strongest, I believe. So that is a good thing to note, especially if you're playing on multiplayer because then you will probably want the strongest base if you're building a base. Um, so yeah, that's a tip for you. I will come with another multiplayer tip in a bit. All right, I am popping in from the future here because I actually forgot to show you what it is you can actually do uh, related to multiplayer. So I'm gonna show you right now. What you can make is called a claim flag. It requires crafting three skill, uh, two wires, two cloth, one glue and one chemical. And of course you need to have a blowtorch in your inventory. I can't make it right now as you can, well, see, I don't have the stuff that I need for it, but basically I'll make it later, um, later in the series. But what you, what it basically does, it claims a pretty large area where people can't build inside of that area. So it prevents people from building in that specific area, which is really cool. And I'm pretty sure it strengthens the build as well, or your buildings that are in that area as well. And f if you're playing, for, for example, factions and you have friends you're playing with, you need to be in the same group in order to access, um, not to access, in order to build in that area. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I just wanted to say about that. I'll show it to you later down the road. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let uh, past me continue my mission. <laughs> All right, so let us get a pine floor. Uh, we're gonna need, I believe, one, three in total, because we already have one. Now, as you can see, this snaps in place just like that. And as you can see, some of the earth is actually there and we don't want that. So I'm gonna try my best to get this to fit just like that. You know what? That's fine. Right there. And you can just slap these in. And I want to think a bit here because, yeah, I think... I don't like the tree here, um, but I don't think there's much we can do about it. The sun is going down that way, so that means we will have most of the sunlight here in front of us, so that's nice. So I think this is fine, just want to check that the leaves won't poke through our walls. I don't think it will, I think it will be all right. I'm not but trying to make the best of the best bases here. I'm just showing you how you can build it so you can build for yourself. I'm a bit picky when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> I could also build it in front, but I, I like to being able to just walk in. Whereas over here, where it goes down, I eh, have to jump up. That's not nice. So I think I'm going to keep it right like here. Um, then I'm going to search for the next thing we're going to need is a pillar. Uh, these needs to be in corners for us to be able to place walls. So I'm going to build three of those because we won't uh, will we actually think we will need it in the middle but we won't worry about that right now 
I'm gonna worry about the front here. Uh, so we, as you can see, if we just place placing it here, we can't miss a corner, so we can only attach in corners. So we're gonna place it here. We're gonna place another one here, and we're gonna place it here. Now let me just show you what happens if we remove this thing. So take that in our inventory and go ahead and make a wall, right? Like, like so. You can. I'm not going to show every buildable that you can build here, but as you can see, if we just scroll down here, there's a bunch of different ones that you can use. I'm not going to showcase all of them. Um, you will have to experiment a bit for yourself because that would be very time consuming. I'm just going to show you the basics. You can leave feedback down below in the comments. So if you want to see all of these in use, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, and I might show it. But anyway, let us see here. So I want actually I want a door frame here. I think I want a doorway so we can have a doorway and a door frame. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what the difference is. Hold on. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to waste a little bit of materials and I'm going to make one of each. And let's see which one does which. So here we have the doorway and here we have the door frame. And I remember now, I wish he would change these textures. So the doorway is actually the one we want. Uh, it acts like a wall, but there's a space for a door here, which we will install uh, in a bit or later on. But as you can see, it says missing pillar, and that is because we're missing a pillar right here. So we need to place that, and then doorway, and then boom, now we can place it, and we have a doorway. Fancy. Now, this one is basically just a frame. If we can place this anywhere. Um, yeah, I would wish he had changed the textures for that, so it was a little bit more obvious, but I don't know, maybe, I guess, to be honest, in a way, I don't know, I don't know, I guess maybe I just misunderstood it, maybe I'm just a bit, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, I don't think we will need that, so I'm just going to put that away. And the next one that we will want, or that I want, is a pine window, because I want the window here, because I want to be able to see out and spy on all those cows down there, so I want a window here, and then... I need more wood, which I have stored in the crate down here, so give me a second. Oh, <laughs> give me a second. All right, here we are. Get my logs. Uh, that's actually not too many. Uh, you know what? I'm going to chop some trees on the way back. All right, I have a bunch more wood, hopefully enough that we can finish this job. So let us search for a wall, and I want... Hmm. I think I want two of these, but I also, of course, need pillar because I need one there one there so after my calculations one two three four five I need five of these one two three four five you could all of course also craft all but then it consumes all your resources for that specific crafting thing which of course I don't want to do right now but if for example I had the uh, ingredients for 10 burgers and I'm sure I want 10 burgers I want to craft all of the burgers that I possibly can then of course I can just click uh, craft all and it will craft all the burgers again. So that's cool. All right, there we go Now I'm going to equip the wall here and do that sweet and the next one and I think I want a window over here Just because um, or Maybe a window here No, I think this back here is a little bit boring So I think we will just put a normal couple of walls back here there we go, like so. And I think I want a window here or here. Uh, I think I might want something here. So I think I'm going to put a window here. So let's get one more wall and let us get, I think I'm going to put a window here. I think I'm going to put a window here. Let's search for window, wall window, no window. And I don't have enough wood. So as you can see, this stuff takes quite a bit of wood, but again, the, the trees, uh, hold on, hey, 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 hey. there we go. The trees uh, do pop back out, so that is pretty good. So let me just get a few more trees. All right, the sun is going down, unfortunately, so we are losing daylight. Um, and I don't have any means of actually putting, well, I have the campfire, so I'll probably go and get that. But let us craft that window right here. Now, I don't have any glass right now, so... I think that is something we will do in part two. This will just focus on the main building itself. All right, so I want a floor here. Like I want a floor up there. So what I will need is not more floors. I want a roof. There we go. We want roofs, one, two, and three. Only three, 
because I want to actually get up there and as you can see it's this missing pillar and that is because we're missing the middle pillar, pillar right here. Now here is a tip. Here is a tip indeed. Let's take the pillar. I'm going to place it and I'll show you. I'll place the roof. I'll actually place all of the roofs and I think I want the stair to be here. And now that I've placed my roofs, I'm going to remove the pillar and it, it stands just fine. So that's cool like that. And I think, let's see, what do we have for stair stuff? Pine stairs like that. Yeah, I think we're going to make that actually right now. And this could be a bit interesting. Missing floor. There we go. I think maybe I want it like so. I think I want it like so. Ah, that's going to make the window weird though, isn't it? Um, what, other, what other way can we put it? I guess like this. Uh, uh, eh? Yeah, to be honest, the window is a little bit weird there. But I mean, then we get light up here maybe. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to switch these two around. So take that out. Take this out. Place this here. And then take the wall and then place that there. I think that is going to be the best uh, thing we can do here. So right now we have a doorway. We have a little living area and then we can go upstairs here. Uh, where I think maybe we'll make this... Hmm. I think we'll make this... Ah, hmm. Let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, I think we'll make like a little balcony area here. But then leading over to another room over here. So that means a lot more wood and a lot more pillars. Time to cut even more trees. Alright, so I'm just chopping trees here and I noticed the tree chopping process actually goes a whole lot slower. And then I looked at the percentage of the chainsaw and it was down to 11%. So if your tool like this goes down to a lower percent, basically the lower the percentage, the worse the tool is. But you really start feeling it once it's like down there because then it gets really slow and it's really worth it to uh, repair the tool if you have enough metal for it. I do have a little bit of metal, but I actually want to save that for uh, next episode where I'm going to show some stuff. I might actually need to go looting to get some more of camera in between. Uh, I was going to get the, the campfire. All right, let's place the campfire down and we have a little bit of working light and we will continue uh, building here. So I want more pillars. So we need, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we already have one, so that is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a lot of pillars, unfortunately. But we need one here, we need one here, we need one here. We need another one here, here, here. Uh, oh, there we go. So that is the thing. If you place it and then go into it, then it will just not place. So that is the thing to keep in mind when building. Stay out of the green area. Uh, like so. And we'll need another one here as well. Perfect. And this, this will actually stay. This is actually going to stay. So that just took a lot of my wood supplies and we're just gonna make walls with the rest of it. I'm gonna put a wall right here and a wall right here. And then I think I'm gonna put a window. Actually, I kinda want this. I'm thinking put, to put this area as like a storage area, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. I know this area is gonna be open. Uh, actually, I do believe we could make a post. No, I see pine. Uh, let me look. Yeah, a post. I actually wanted that for this one. So I'm going to take this pillow back and put a post here. Because what I want to do is set up like a railing here. So it's open. Um, I might need to replace that with some with a regular pillow first. Because I do want a roof on here actually. But yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, chopping trees and... Uh, yeah, get enough wood to get this mission done and I'll be back once I have enough wood and when it's daytime so we can actually see what we're doing. So, be right back. 
All right, it is now morning and a very beautiful one. I will have to say, like, look at this. We have plenty of light. Well, we could, to be honest, do with another window. I might add that. Um, but yeah, this is very, very cool. A very cool morning. So I will say a very, very cool location. So I have been busy during the night filling out my inventory with stuff that I think we're going to need, AKA a window to put right here because it's so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. All right, uh, let's get to it. Uh, the ramps I crafted because that is what I was talking about right here. Um, I'm not sure what I called it before. If you want to see what the recipe is, uh, rampart right here. Sorry, rampart. Uh, six, three uh, pine logs. So for two. So that's cool. Also because I want another one here. So we're going to have one to spare. And then I made roofs because we of course want a roof here and here and then yeah as i suspected we have to remove this one put an actual pillar in here like so and put a roof on here and then we could leave it okay we could leave it i don't actually know what's gonna look best let me see uh remove that put a post Yeah, to, to be honest with you, it looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird not having a pillar. I'm going to put a normal pillar here, but now you know they're there, so you can, you can really customize your base. I like it. Like, we could even put one here if we wanted to. Hmm, I might actually do that. I'm not sure. Let me pick that up, and I think I'm going to put... I like to have natural light in here. All right, I like... Oh, whoops, wrong button. I like to have natural light, but as I want to have this like as a storage area. I think I will have to put a wall here. I don't know how much of the light it's gonna kill. So let's see. I'm gonna put a wall right here. Eh, not too much actually. It's not too bad. Plus we have this beautiful weird view over here too. I mean I could put a window here but as again I want to use this as like a storage area I think. So yeah that's that. And I like this. Also another thing I want to do is actually, now that I'm thinking about it, remove that. And do I have, uh, not that, do I have by any chance? Need to go here. I'm searching for pine hole. Uh, is that a thing? I mean, it's a thing. It's just not very a very good thing right here. Ah, do, 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 because you see, hmm, I could put it here, though, and it wouldn't be, it might be in the way, actually. You see, this one, if I place it down, it can have a ladder on it, which is really cool, so that I can get on the roof of this thing, and I would have liked it here, but I think our heads are going to hit it. I'm not sure. Let's, let's try and put it, all right, and let me see, what is the ladder recipe? Can we even make it? Uh, apparently not. I think we need like duct tape or something. Let me just head over to the helicopter. We should have duct tape in here. We should, we should, we should. Uh, unless I threw it all away. I think I threw it all away. Oh dear. We should still be able to see the recipe though if I just get some sticks. So in one of these and then we search, what was it, ladder? Oh yeah, you need duct tape for that. Um. I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Is there any way that I can go to, like, really quickly? Not really. That might have it. I mean, could get fuel at Berlin, but that's a whole other mission in of itself. Um, what I was thinking of, though, putting a ladder there, putting a hatch on it, then I could just, like, wee, and then grab it and then climb up. Because I don't think it would get in the way of running over here. Because then what I could do is place a helicopter on top of the house. Do I have enough for rail uh, ramparts and stuff up there? I'm gonna chop down a few more trees and then we're gonna call it part one, I think, after we finish the top part of the house. So be right back. I mean, looking at it from behind or out outside, sorry, in front, it doesn't look too bad, I must say. It doesn't look too bad. All right, let me get the chopper up there, I think, because uh, we're gonna get up there somehow. And yeah, I think the chopper will be the easiest way of doing this. Now this, of course, 
means that I have to actually be able to land it. Let's see how well my landing skills are. And... Okay, this is not gonna go well. Wait, it actually might. Oh! I did. <laughs> That's not too bad. Alright, let me make... Uh, I think I need that many. Alright, let's place these all around. It might make it a little bit trickier for me to land, but it might also help me. And hopefully not blow this thing up eventually. And another one right here. Perfect. And then put these ramparts all around as well. And have this as a landing area. I think that is really cool. Then the helicopter doesn't have to land on the ground. And we have access to it from the base. From within, rather. There we go. And a ladder there eventually. Alright. I really don't have any duct tape. I guess I have thrown it away. Yeah, unfortunately. All right. Um, so that is pretty much that base done. Well, not done. That is the structure. I think in the next, I will definitely have to do some off-camera work um, before I can make the next episode. So I will have to do that. But in the next episode, I think we will put up the windows. We're going to put up ladders. We might even get into electricity. We might. If I find what I need, I will probably go looting in Berlin. Um, I think we've already been there, or I'll go to Hamburg. I'm not sure, or Munich. I don't know. One of these, uh, I probably pronounced that wrong. One of those places, we gotta get a ladder, we gotta get windows up, we gotta get lighting up, and we gotta get a couple of, a few furniture in here, and the storage as well. We gotta get storage, furniture, lighting, all that stuff sorted out. And doors, of course, we want a door, but yet we can't do that just yet. Because uh, we need metal and I don't have any metal. So yeah. Looting for me it is. I could even put a wall here to separate the stair. But I don't want to do that. I think it's fine like this. And then I think in part 3. I'm going to make a garage. Probably over here. To the right. For vehicles. Because I want drivable vehicles. And I think a small garage here to the, to the right. Is going to be very nice. But anyways, I think that's going to cut it for this one. Uh, where's my campfire? Let's put the campfire right outside. And of course, farming is another thing that we got to do. Um, I don't know if we'll do that in one of the other, in part two or three. We'll have to see. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or feedback or anything like that, leave a comment down below. But yeah, I'm going to... I guess I have to go looting now, don't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go looting to get all the materials that I that I need for this stuff so yeah I'm gonna have some off camera work to do but we will be back with part two and fixing all that stuff and making this house look awesome but anyways I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day goodbye oh dear okay that okay that 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 was a spin goodbye <laughs> Banting me to ding nari, don't buy a cat or a gay cat or a from the land now where you they are. See, that you are through it, me my aunt is the banting me to ding nari, don't buy